only player holding that lurk. Boy, you've got faith in him. He does so much there to win that round for his team entirely. Nail nails it in the coffin. And now there's no chance for Genji in this round. It looks like already up close player one's able to pick off Mar, but there should be nothing else as FaZe are very good at holding these retakes and they find themselves with a man up and even Spike more planted. so with better firepower than their opponents. Oh no, and I think the worst part too is that unfortunately Iman just kind of teleported on top of the A default box and kind of <laughs> left himself open. It looks a little bit funny from the third person, but they were completely blind as we saw from the cam and nothing you can do about that. This already wasn't looking incredible for the side of Gen G, but they've actually made it way more competitive than I think anyone would have guessed. Down into 2v2 we go, and Corey kind of bleeding internally, not looking too good. Eventually he's going to be all left on the rockets, but time is of the essence, and he knows exactly how to play the time. He doesn't even need to see the enemies and keep far off. And Sean's getting aggressive well, and he's a man that was on a yesterday average comet score 265 we'll see if he can up that just a little bit more gmd though popping heads takes one down but Corey a little bit better than win faster on the trigger the operator shot misses and phase they've taken the site cleanly even if they lose two players a spike will go down if only temporarily and gen g it's the retake that has to commence spike planted. this isn't one actually enemy. terrible though okay now it is now, now it definitely is after player one went down but there's easily things that can go wrong as gmd will definitely show off it's not going to be really a, a highlight worthy clip at the end and even then they swept them under the rug 13 to 7 on both the maps that they played so phase this was going to be their first real challenge the mentality going into this it's going to definitely be a little bit different to shift from such an easy opening three best of threes to one that's of such high caliber but clearly phase they've shifted that mentality swimmingly well and marved as well seems to shift right into it first frag is his quinn does end up trading it back though we do still have a 4v3 with the spike down and gmd's clicking out another there's still three to find and Corey's already on such low HP here Kira there's really a chance that Gen G could find themselves back into this round quickly but the aggression needs to begin quickly that spike is really starting to kick at this point and time is going to be of the essence this is a 3v5 you have to mention for uh excuse me Gen G to overcome but again they don't have the time I think even now if they get on the bomb it's too little too late GMD has to get away and unfortunately it's not the enemies on phase that are actually going to go ahead and finish them off. It's a timer. Be marred, whether that be Corey, and then they'll switch it up instantly with Baby Bay out toward day long, and here it is again, Baby Bay straight into the site. is trying to open up some space and gifted his team that, but unfortunately, these crossfires being held are clean here from Gen G, but they've relieved them of the site now, and phase once more have got another retake in their hands, and this time 3v3. Already looking a little bit better, but you have to be aware that player one lurks in heaven. And of course, the artillery doesn't exactly favor the bold side of the, or excuse me, of Gen G. As you see, GMD, speaking of the devil, actually does appear on flank and find that first kill. Player one is really the one that I'm kind of worried about. This is still a very winnable 1v3, I feel like. Even still, with the odds being stacked against him, Marv has that experience and he has a bomb king for him. Oh That's some more time, but, but I think. That's just about it. Bomb has already made it halfway, and I finally Genji get one on the board. So luckily, Upmind isn't here to see that Brazilian <laughs> score line. Stuck on a bit more of an ego. You'll see the push right in towards C. There's going to be no hesitation, no complications whatsoever as they take it over. And solely, I think now we're going to be seeing a 9 to 1 score line just based off of what I see right here, right now. That's been pretty stellar so far Spike for FaZe. And G, you can never count them on these pistols. If player one is able to find something i think the turret is now online so yeah never mind position reveal two players ready for the swing one bolt left in the sheriff doesn't connect on the baby bay's head and instead the knives will find their mark gmd with the stinger at least able to do a little bit of damage this is all about trying to pull weapons away but baby bay really didn't have anything to lose and they've already got so much cash and yeah do what you may gmd it's not going to be able to do much zachary and raucous locking it down out towards the bottom of sea vault yeah, and Quinn really do anything they can, and unfortunately, it's now just down the Quinn phase. Nine to one, a clean seaside execution, a good read on their half. They know that Gen G have been stacking that A site. The presence is minimal on the site, so they risk that kind of play. TP Marved in alongside Baby Bay, sending them tension away to allow the other players from Defender spawn to work their way into the site. And the rest is history. Phase. They look good opening things up in the second half, but does that trend continue with Gen G trying to storm back down by seven rounds? This is going to be incredibly scary though. The force up is indeed in effect. 
And really, <laughs> Rockus oh, isn't Rockus. letting anything slip by. Two kills found, and Sully, we have ourselves another round on the plate here, and it's still not stopping. Gen G, they don't even need to get that that uh, spike down, and already they're fragging out hard. We find ourselves in the 3v2, favoring the attacking side, favoring the bold. However, there's still one spike little planted. linchpin. That phase have yet to show off, and that comes in the form of Baby Bay. Slowly walking up towards short, and is going to wait and coordinate with his teammate Corey before they actually look to push in. Oh, and it's the fact that it's a Bucky. This man has been so good on it. How does it work out this time, though? He needs to get close. He needs to get aggressive. Draw some shots. Corey, that's a great first. What? Spots a second, baby, bay. That's unreal. The boost gone up and drops on down, but no heads have been dropped. No kills have been found. And baby, bay will be the one going down. Gen G somehow pull it out and he can easily wall big mirror does he go for it though yes he does and it's only attacked this man on one hp that was a headshot but rockus finishes it off regardless a great combination of utility and skill out towards the a side but when his dash has opened up this c site and while they've got that first kill on the a side it's all going down on the opposite side of the map and another 3v3 retake Spike planted. oh my god it just never ends thing is too on paper i felt like phase should have been able to take that one unfortunately the wall bang headshot isn't quite enough to finish the job onto that poor sova who's just trying to stay alive for dear life unfortunately they will fall at the end of it and this is all gonna ride i feel like on baby bay to try to again make space for his team but those knives don't find anything the only thing that is found is by <laughs> never mind it is by baby bay but it's by jumping classic really it's not by the knives it's not by the vandal it's by the, the little sidearm that you get by default. Sure, whatever. If that works for you, Baby Bay, you know how to blow. As Gen G, now they're starting to build this momentum, and this gets a little bit scary with Mikael and both when trying to open things up. It's only the one for Quinn, though, off the operator, but that's weakened this A-side defense and leaves Raucous to his own devices. I think it's also important to mention for the side of phase, maybe not this round, but Mart has that teleport as well, which means that a lot of the time they can gamble on you know, stack over towards A and try to maybe snuff out GMD early. You can tell that Marv, right at the beginning of the round, was actually towards C, and I think that might have been as a bit of a counter towards some potential aggression from Gen G. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe that's just kind of me being a little bit uh, conspiratorial, but either way, I noticed that, and FaZe are still making these micro-adjustments, even on rounds that I feel like otherwise, again, they wouldn't have any business winning. The rifle is doing work, however, from FaZe, and that is incredibly important. Rockus is able to find one off of it. Baby Bay still has that operator in hand, but otherwise, it's a classic and a sheriff that's going to go ahead and do all the justice for FaZe in this round here. And it might not even have the chance to get past the finishing line, the starting line even, as Gen G, they have a firing range set up on the A phase, win or lose. So Baby Bay, I feel like needs to find something here. No, it has to be. Oh, missed shot, doesn't connect it, but Marv just quick on his feet and once more, Quinn hungry to take that trade back and Marv just shot down, nearly has the head of Quinn as well. But for now, FaZe, they've got that opening pick, but at what cost? They've taken the C side, it feels like, it feels like no way Gen G can work their way back in, especially with Baby Bay lurking around with that operator, picks up a second and once more, the X Factor has a ride for FaZe. Let long last Gen G are put down on the offensive. Takes a while, but again, sometimes the operator is a, such a big change of pace. You saw both Jets actually being probably the most silent pieces on their team so far. Near the bottom of the scoreboard for the two, both sitting at 10 kills, but kills don't mean everything. Quite obviously. If you want to look at kills, Ronkus has definitely got a good amount of them and he holds around this corner and oh, there you are. Oh now my. he's gonna add another to his tally. Just an ironclad setup. Perfect. It's all anchored, our old spearheaded. But backs against the wall here. Genji are going to try to never say die. That turret is only going to do them a little bit of good in actually stopping the eventual mess that's coming on in. Here's a teleport. Here's a Hunter's Fury. And here is a showstopper. But the show oh will be stopped God. by Zachary just holding in Garage. He does it all by himself. A four on two made into actually a one on four. Get and poor Sean has nothing he can do. There's that blight storm that I now what exactly their dynamic is on this map. But it's almost surprising to me that FaZe actually did have the right moves towards sight, rotating rotating teammates in and out of sight. And well, I guess at this point they still have players that could frag, right? Baby Bay on the front lines, combining with both a Spectre and a oh, Frenzy at 3k form. Corey with the two from FaZe and A main. 
And this could get dicey. There's two players trying to make their way in. And it's a good combo of util and manpower. The two-man swing. And not only that, but just choking out that one Gen G player. One Gen G player in the back of main. Well, ends up working on their favor, but now at this point, Gen G, they've already readjusted. And if anything, they've already been in these positions before. Three players over towards mid. Rockets will be able to tag on at least one with that owl drone. So a little bit more info for them. Corey, no way. No, surely not with the thing, no, right? No, surely not. Then you would assume I right, would win that. He does. No he way. does. <laughs> He wins those! Corey takes this round at least. Now to a five on three. Player one does have a good position. It's gonna be a B split now, Sully. Oh. I mean, Gen G, you're weak in men. Yeah, is it really a B split at this point? I'm not oh. thinking so. Zachary picks up a quick double. Knocks down Mikael off his feet, and Baby Bay comes in from the defender side. Phase look. To go off the killjoy, but it's slowly being taken away by that old drone. That's smart. In comes Win, looking for some damage. Zachary, he was playing up on B last round, but he has adjusted, and he's insane. Oh, ho, ho. Massive frag onto Win, and he already does so much damage onto the players coming up from main. Marved and Zachary, it's just going to be an easy farm for them. It's really just Jimmy Marved. Huge 3K form. Thinking that's player one on it. But Gen G, they might actually be approaching B super, oh, no. super quickly here. But watch out, this. Rockus is around. Baby Bay at least watching the cross. Rockus is just waiting for players to actually make their way on site. But no one's watching stairs. Win takes down Rockus, but now Baby Bay, he could farm a little bit. Still has the op out. One player trying to land in front of him, and it's just not going to work out as Marv is covering his six. Player one, last person remaining now in a 1v4, and FaZe wins out yet another round. A lot of freedom to make plays, to give his team information, and build around his style. It's working so well here for the likes of FaZe. And Corey, what can he get from this? Splash to go out there. We already know there are three from this breach, but he only tosses out one and backs away with one left in the pocket. Nothing more to come from it yet, but as Mar picks up the first, he's Wait. continuing to aggress. He wants more, as same with GMD, and they only have pistols to play with your Gus, but they're trying to make it work, Gen G, and they can't oh. find much except for the single frag so far. Potentially get a spike plant down. They have one player at least trying to force out the situation on B. Of course, it would have been optimal to actually put the spike up exactly on GMD himself, but again... The more information, the better. And speaking of information, the neural threats. It is out. The neural network is revealed. Now Gen G, they're struggling to oh. actually make their way on site, but in comes Win. And Michael actually getting some frags. My lord, FaZe. Are they about to get ecoed? There's one more person in heaven. He <gasps> might get no exposed. Way. Player one takes down Corey. Now it's just down to Rockus. 1v2. You would have to wait 15 seconds. For that recon bolt, so he again, it's no info for now. Just has to make his way in. Player one has the off angle. Oh, but the shock dart reveals him. Out of charges. That's just Wait. a little bit of time. In goes the peak, but Come no, on. he's away. And not only that, but his opponent is revealed. In goes Rockus. He evades the shock dart. He barely has enough time to actually make his way onto this spike. He's clearing his corners, but Michael's gonna get it. Maybe base swing, Zachary swing. Everybody's ready to take those fights as long as Marv has that intel. Oh and Gen G backs against the wall. Baby Bay tries to get extremely aggressive, and they've actually won a little bit of map control. Corey's gotten this part of the map controlled so far, but he has to back away with the overwhelming numbers starting to swarm him, and even bullets starting to come his way. Gen G, they have that opening pick, but what more can they find? Corey, that is so risky to hold the flash out. Thankfully, Zachary picks up the kill and same thing with marv to even things out to a 3v3 but phase maybe getting a little bit reckless and a little bit too complacent as the last round of the half creeps upon us Shadows traveling. getting closer and closer but we could have that first nail in the coffin if rockets can actually clutch out this round a couple of frags over towards main would be very efficient and at least trying to hold off on time for his teammates to rotate but it's simply not going to happen it's going to be a cat main split between Zachary and Marved off this retake. And oh, Zachary, there you go. That's gonna be rough, the lockdown is in. Michael think that he can be slick and he actually does take down the lockdown, that's great. But what is he gonna do next? Quinn, last person remaining in a 1v2, has the back of sight, has only a little bit of you, still has both updrafts and a dash. 
He has to do the dash to actually get these kills. One person going to emerge. That's Zachary gonna go down. Great spray down by from him, from Win. Oh my God, English. One more person remaining. Marv, he's gonna go down. One v two for Win. Eight to four score line. I mean, G contact on site. And not only that, but player one has a good setup. He has the two Ks in front of him, essentially evading everything. Oh my God, that Rolling Thunder didn't do anything. It did nothing. Thirty seconds left. 3v5 now, Sully. I mean, Phaser are just up against the ropes. I thought I thought 100% that would have been the killer. That would have been the blow that takes them down. But no, Phase, they're fine. Or not Phase. Gen G are completely fine. Mikael avoids it completely. And with 14, 13 seconds left, Zachary's got to go huge. He's got to get this second frag. And they're back in this round just like that. This one isn't over just yet. Corey has to go fast. He's got to go furious. The bomb, the spike, it's down on the ground, but no kills to be found. GMD wins it. The bell saves them. So whatever they can end up pulling off in terms of fragging this round would be more than important. Lockdown is about to go down once again. The Hunter's Fury been used three or four times in this what? set alone just to take down a lockdown and wow marv's not clock? able to get the trade no but he will Who be able I? to get the spike down so that's a little bit extra cash for this team not only that but rock a little bit of counter util a counter ulti back over towards heaven takes down one marv now has a little bit of an angle towards heaven i think the angle of that smoke might reveal where he is I think spray down might come in soon. Marv gets a little bit antsy. He goes right for the frag, but it's still not going to work out in his favor. 4v1. Zachary, the last person remaining, has nothing but a sheriff, and he goes down to Michael. 10 9 scoreline, Sully. Their way in. Immediately off the round beginning. And once again, it's going to be a three man hold of B for Gen G. That to me is very interesting. Not many teams even go for that. But, uh, well, good combination. Flashes. They're going to overwhelm the person in Boathouse. And wow, this is actually working for FaZe. Marv gets the kill onto Michael on site. Zachary with another uh, a little bit earlier. And now it's a two on three. Player one alongside win trying to clear out this site. FaZe already knows. They do not need to peek out the stairs area by any means. Don't, win is about don't, to pick don't. at least the first pixel that he sees from this spot. Yes, they want control of sight, but they don't even need to go for the pick. Quinn still making his way up, and there you go. He's smoked up. Oh, no. This is where Quinn can make some real noise. He has the knife, Sully. Oh, my God. A shot through the wall. Passion on over. Quinn's trying to pull the Alamo. He won't get it done, but player one sure as hell will. He's, he's watching the angle. That's already lost. Can't peek that by any means, and this A site is already heavily populated. Or at least the extremities of it, heavily populated by Gen G. They're not going to approach A just yet, but they have more than enough util to really just barrel their way through. They're really waiting for what would be a solid sign that someone on A is actually here. That gate going down is a good indication. Spike finally going down. Sully. FaZe need to win this one to survive, but what? What's going on? I think they're saucing up what well, would be the ulti. Zachary now has the lockdown. And here we go. Four on five. Oh, that killjoy. It's going to buy them so much time. And the thing is, Genji, they don't have that Hunter's Fury to fall back upon it, taking their time, trying to see if they catch anybody aggressing. All five of Genji grouped up sheep in a herd. And Baby Bay is the farmer. What can he get from this, though? They're coming all around the corner. And it's hunting season here, ladies and gents. Baby Bay, he doesn't get anything. The wolf is taking him down and the sheep stay alive. They continue to move into the site, but Zachary is what awaits them. So much chaos erupting and Corey beneath the heavens is still holding on. 1v2 and Whoa. Sean is not gonna pull this one out. One more round. Bodies on site wasn't exactly really the X factor to their success. Rockus has to aim down on this last player, but Baby Bay clears up sights. Clears up win. Now it's already a four on four trade off at the very end. Zachary gets the gate down. Spike will most likely go down. Sean takes down Marv. That's absolutely massive. He was looking for yet another flank on site. But again, 
Gen G. They have the man advantage going into a read stake. And they're trying to prevent overtime. Oh, and those doors wide on open as well, Gus. This is so difficult. Three players in the heavens. Baby Bay, he's gone aggressive and taken down the extremity. Sean goes down. They do still have the neural threat, but I don't even think they need that at this point. Mikhail storming into the site, charging in with the big heavy gun. The Odin Rockus, 1v2, has to win this out, but player one shuts him down. We will be seeing a third map, ladies and gents. 13 to 11. All 24 rounds needed to decide the victor on map two. And that's but the pistols that they ended up buying can actually be enough to put on a lot of damage onto FaZe and force them to reinvest going forward. Here we go again, Sully, though. Gen G approaching up the A sites this time. Zachary still holding back. Same thing with Baby Bay. Baby Bay this time on the raise, and it's massive, but player one does expose Zachary, who, again, was a little bit flashed and just couldn't respond. Spike is down. That's even more cash in the bank of Gen G. Off your feet! Oh, rolling thunder. That's going to be a big fact, I think, to lock down this round. Gen G sending it in the way of the screens. And now, Marv just called upon the Empress of Darkness, as we like to call it. G player one, though, picking off core before we can even get it started. And yeah, that's limitations again, guarding on through the Cypher. Tripwires still in his face, but Marv in a 1v1. He's got to try to win this one out. He knows where the location of the last is, but the spike is not even planted for him. It's not even planted for Mikael. He's got to go fast, and he's got to go now. But Marv, he's not even on the spike. Phase lose this round, and Mikael plays the clock. Marv will get the frag, but is there time? There isn't going to be. Phase. They get all the kills, but they don't get the round. And Gen G saved by the bell, pick up round number one. And even Marv losing his life. Quinn misses a shot, however. And Gen G, they're starting to ramp up the speed with Marv being the only sole proprietor of this site. But in comes Baby Bay. He's got reinforcements to play with, and his delay has caused enough time for his team to get here. 30 seconds left. Good opening from Baby Bay, though. Does take one out. Does take out Sean. But that showstopper could have definitely taken a whole lot more. And in comes the whole baby pay with yet another one. Michael on the front lines is trying to make his way through that smoke. Quinn in a beautiful spot. But is it too little too late? Indeed it is. Ten seconds left on the round. He has to run on away. He even has the knives to try to help himself out. But he's going to have to save him for an eco round. Marv takes him down. It's the hounds of phase making their way through. And now it's a fourth round for them. Gen G, they still have money to reinvest. However much their economy is going to get wrong dry. Phase, that's exactly what they wanted out of, out of that round. Sue, they stayed perfect. Their economy will be able to build. The only thing they need to reinvest in is, a, I think, only a singular gun, something of the sort. And Util, Gen G, and Phase, both in a fragile state of economy. And really, at this point, this could be anyone's half. Phase, however, they need to take advantage of this defensive half ASAP. Oh, here they come, Baby Bay. This is what we were wondering. How is he going to play this operator? Clearly, nothing has changed Wait. at all, Baby Bay. Good opening on the Sean there. Quick man advantage gained for FaZe. Can they build upon it? You mentioned him holding on to these blade storms, but instead it's not an eco. He's doing it in a full rifle buy. You're getting shut down a little bit by that turret. He's lost definitely a lot of HP off of him. The armor gone as well. Jumping it to the middle of the bomb site. Corey's got one and swinging back around. Quinn looks for the second, but Zachary in his face with a phantom sends him down to just two men. Four versus two in GMD. He's got a decent position and he's got a chance at another kill, but no Aww. chance is given. There was a crossfire being held regardless. And player one, despite the great position he's in against four players, what are the odds he pulls this one off? I mean, player one is insane, right? Could be able to go for this, but Marv's He's done a good job of neutralizing any aggression. 30 seconds left. So for now, but look at Marv. He gets fall line, but it just doesn't matter. Jesus, Marv. He stays alive and more than alive. He's thriving. Looking for another frag, but it's not going to happen. Player one takes him down. Baby Bay with a 2k because why not? Sean thought he was slick that he could make his way on site, but it simply does not happen. Last person remaining is Michael in a 1v4. And this round is done for Gen G. They just get swept apart on site and will phase once again and make it look easy. Super. But baby B again, he's been a king of just watching choke points. He's been a king 
I was just looking over towards these spots, but Mark, oh, oh, come oh my on. God. Oh my God. <laughs> As a, well, baby Bay, what happened there too? He got bumped out by his own satchel and that ended up throwing him off in terms of an actual angle. Again, it was just bad timing on the actual rocket, but it was a good idea. Corey on the run it back. He can afford to go all the way back. Still four on four as Baby Bay did take one back. Now he has a very optimal angle. Does not get much damage onto his opponent, but will finally get the kill. Rockets, Corey, all combining. The Overwatch boys win the round. FaZe get a knife. Able to get up a frag on that. Heaven has been taken by FaZe. Player one, one is just waiting for the smoke to dissipate, and it's going to happen. Player one, just spray through it. <gasps> get it. Oh, he finally does, but the damage has been done. Corey, he does get taken down off. No, he doesn't get taken down. He's not traded. He just gets a frag. Gen G does have the man advantage though, Sully. Oh, but FaZe, they've got the spike down for now. Four versus two. Another kill goes the way of Gen G. Complacency kills, and FaZe so far have been too complacent in this round. Not ready to pounce, not ready for the key trades, the trademark trades of FaZe. And right now, they've got two players to the wayside and four players for Gen G to throw at FaZe. Two players go for the swing. It's just down to Corey, wow. and Corey alone isn't ready. The speed of the stinger, and Gen G, they keep it alive here, Gus. You mentioned the economic disaster that would be holding them. They lost this round, but they win it. They close that out in phase. A couple of players lying around for Gen G. At least over towards the safe side. Good spray down. It's Especially off that him. audio cue from the orb. The run it back. So many ultis going on. That's counter ulti. Actually, the rolling thunder back towards main. That's actually massive. That slows down the take. Now, player one has a little bit of an opportunity to actually get himself a couple of frags here. Marved. He's just going to get exposed. Quinn has the angle. There's too many angles for him to even clear. That's just unfortunate. 4v2. GMD gets one back. Rockus is actually going to go through this. He gets exposed too. All these players for phase just pretty much making some pretty rough decisions. But baby Bay. Of course, man. Man is cracked. He's in a 1v4. Makes it a 1v2 already. It's possible. Possible indeed. He's had some insane plays in the past, but the spike definitely out of his reach. But I don't like this from Gen G. They want to be the aggressor in Baby Bay. You've given an opportunity. Unfortunately, he hasn't capitalized on it. And FaZe, they will not have folks. Hey, Mustache Masters is this weekend. Donate to uh, Movember, but in we go, folks. Big round coming up. Win with two. Player one with yet another one. Phase, they come out with yet another scrappy round in terms of trades. They're not going to be able to take advantage. It all goes by in a flash. Look like it. You still have Mikhail holding out the paranoia. Ready to send that. That'll definitely cause a little bit of an issue for the players charging. I didn't know shots ring out. Mikhail holding his tongue. Not really welcoming any peaks just yet, but a 4v3. Mikhail, a key. A key position in this retake that will surely commence, but even if the spike doesn't go down, Mikael will still find frags. He's coming around left. here. Mikael still holding it down. 3v3. What more can they find? Whoa. What more do they want from him? 3v2 now, and the spike, it's yet to go down, but it will now in Gen G. Their tournament lives now, Gus, are on the line. Cover going out. Two for Gen G. It's going to be Huynh and Player 1. A dynamic duo, to say the least. They've been cross-firing with one another this entire game. Whether we're talking about here on Ascend or otherwise. Heaven is completely empty. Genji are just wasting their time by clearing this. But of course, they have no clue. It's a minefield of phase players. And again, you say this about Valorant every single time. Too many angles to clear. Not enough time. Zachary! Zachary! Puts the nail in the 